Guys, today I thought I would share with you my top five audio books. Um, when it comes to audio books, I not only like to listen to the audio book, but I also like to read the physical copy of the book. Um, so the majority I have the books here. The first one though, I don't have a physical copy of the book. I actually listen to it on audio, and that is the book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Um this is a story about a young girl called Liesel and it is set in Nazi Germany um, and it was absolutely fantastic. The narrator of the story kept you really engaged. If you didn't know, it's actually told through the eyes of death and it's one of the best audiobooks I have ever read and I think it was the first audio book that I actually purchased so I would highly recommend The Book Thief. The second series I've actually read the well, listened and read the first book and that is The Raven Boys Cycle by Maggie Srivasa. Um the actor, the American actor Will Payton, Will Patton reads this and he was just so engaging. He the Different voices that he did for each character were really good and it just kept me really engaged in the story and I'm definitely, definitely going to continue listening to this on audio format even though I do have all the physical copies of the book. Um, the next um, audio book that I want to talk about is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman and this is actually read itself by Neil Gaiman. I do have the actual um, novel of this, but I couldn't find it, but I bought this the other week, the graphic novel version. This was just really good, and the fact that it was read by the author just made it even, even more engaging, and I just thought that it was one of the top audiobooks that I've read, so I'd highly recommend The Graveyard Book. Next is an audiobook... Um, and physical book that just made me bawl my eyes out because it was just beautiful and that is The Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. This was read by um, Jason Isaacs who plays Lucius Malfoy in Harry Potter and he was fantastic. This book just made me sob because it bawls out so many memories um, the book itself regards a young boy called Connor whose mother is actually dying from cancer and one night um, this monster appears and tells him that he will tell him three stories and at the end Connor has to tell him his truth and the ending is just so bitter, so raw and just made me absolutely bawl my eyes out and I am so glad that I listen to this on audio. Now on to my top favourite audio book or, or series which I am currently listening to and this is the reason why I decided to get into audio books and I decided to subscribe to Audible and that is basically Stephen Fry reading Harry Potter because it's Stephen Fry and it's Harry Potter and put them together and they are just a perfect, perfect combination. It is one of my favourite things to listen to. I'm actually listening to the Chamber of Secrets at the moment. Um, I've just purchased The Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, but if you haven't by any chance read Harry Potter, first of all, what are you doing? Because Harry Potter is just amazing. It's the best book series ever and the fact that Stephen Fry is reading Harry Potter just makes it even more special so I cannot recommend this high enough and also I'm so happy that Stephen Fry has just um, narrated the works of Sherlock Holmes. I'm thinking of buying it even though it was like 71 hours long but amazing definitely would recommend so that's my top five um, audiobooks, guys. Hope you enjoyed. As usual, I shall love you and leave you, and I shall see you all soon. Bye.